Hello again, I'm Jim Lampley. On March 14, the Russian light heavyweight sensation Sergei Crusher Kovalev coming off his annihilation of Bernard Hopkins to give him three title belts in that division will be going into the hometown of Jean Pascal in Montreal and trying to knock off Pascal in front of a raucous Pascal supporting crowd. To help get you ready for Kovalev versus Pascal, let's look now at the Crusher's greatest hits. August 2013, Kovalev traveled to Wales, challenging unbeaten title holder Nathan Cleverly in Cleverly's hometown. The challenger came out aggressively from the opening bell. Two left hooks by Kovalev, knocking Cleverly back. Kovalev does a good job of mixing it up to the body and getting some clean body shots in along the way. Kovalev pressured Cleverly repeatedly, leaving the champion without an answer in round three. Hard left hook by Kovalev, momentarily stunned Cleverly. Comes back with another barrage, trying to go to the body. The further weakened Cleverly after that big left hook. Our right hand and down goes Cleverly. Now and again, Cleverly on the canvas for the second time in the round. An assist from British referee Terry O'Connor helped Cleverly escape round three. But Kovalev's non-stop aggression brought the fight to an end the following round. Too much. This is too much. And Sergei Kovalev has a fourth round TKO, and he made it look easy. Well, if there was any question about whether Sergei Kovalev was for real enough to function in a hostile environment against a world-class opponent, that question has been wiped out. Totally. November 2013. Kovalev made his first light heavyweight title defense against Ishmael Silak. The opening round saw Kovalev jabbing to the body while Silak focused on movement. A boxing match, not a slugging match, in round one. Thanks, baby, thanks. He's running. Yeah. So you gotta cut that, cut that ring off. Kovalev took trainer John David Jackson's words to heart at the beginning of round two. Hard right hand by Kovalev, down goes Salak. That's what makes Sergei Kovalev special. Thunderous, straight on, right hand power. Salak is in bad trouble. Blood is streaming from Salak's nose. He reaches up and paws at it with the right glove. Kovalev comes back and that'll do it. That's the end of the fight, 50 seconds into round number two. This is yet another stunning performance for Kovalev. In a year of extremely impressive performances from Kovalev, this might be the best one. March 2014. Undefeated Cedric Agnew challenged Kovalev. Once again, Kovalev showcased his early round power in round two. Down goes Agnew on a Kovalev left hook. First knockdown of Cedric Agnew's career. We threw three or four punches to set that up first. Followed by that last one, it's more like a straight left hand, actually out of a southpaw position, with his left foot up in the air. That shows you how powerful he has to be. Hard right hand by Agnew upstairs. Kovalev shrugs it off. Another big left hook by Kovalev. Agnew's gonna hold on. Agnew grabbing and holding on. He's taking these shots a lot better than Nathan Cleverly did. As Agnew tightened up his defense, a fourth round headbutt opened a cut over Kovalev's eye. He's facing some adversity here by, by Kovalev's standards in recent fights. And there's another knockdown. You can see Agnew favoring his right side and Kovalev going right there with the hook. Kovalev trying to find something that'll go through the guard. Blood now trickling from both sides of Kovalev's face. And he gets caught with a right hand from Agnew. Nice and relax. Don't force the shot. Don't look for a knockout, it's gonna come. John David Jackson's prediction came to fruition in round seven, as Kovalev found an opening to the body. He's done. Kovalev has another knockout. Perfect faint right hand, followed by a jab to the body. He was not ready for that jab at all. A methodical, systematic beating from a thoroughly offensive fighter. August 2014, Kovalev faced unbeaten southpaw Blake Caparello, as intended future opponent Bernard Hopkins watched from ringside. The underdog Caparello shocked the crowd in the opening round. Oh, and Caparello dropped it. Second knockdown of 
Sergey Kovalev's career. Well, that should piss him off pretty good, knowing that Bernard Hopkins is sitting ringside. Although the punch did land, I think that Caparello's lead foot on Kovalev's lead foot is the reason he went down. Shaking off the knockdown, Kovalev immediately went on the attack in the second round. Oh, great by the shot. That is the kind of power Kovalev has always displayed. He's warming up now. He's starting to get in that groove. Caparello seems to have his wits about him, motioning Kovalev in. And not, Kovalev obliges. Not too smart to motion Kovalev in like that with your back against the ropes. Referee correctly ruling that a knockdown. It looked like Caparello's knee hit the canvas, and in comes Kovalev looking for openings. Caparello down again and waved off. Typical Sergey Kovalev faced with an undefeated challenger. Mows him right down. November 2014. Kovalev faced the toughest test of his career in a light heavyweight unification matchup with ring legend Bernard Hopkins. Kovalev's fireworks began in the opening round. Down goes Hopkins on the first solid right hand that Kovalev threw. He has extraordinary power. Not even stepping into the punch, didn't even look like that was a full Kovalev power shot. Kovalev kept the pressure on throughout the middle rounds, landing heavy shots, as well as outboxing the more experienced Hopkins. Good right hand combination by Kovalev. Body shots. The right hand upstairs. Beating Hopkins at his own game. Fighting past the eighth round for the first time as a professional, Kovalev showed no signs of fatigue in the later rounds. Kovalev wants to knock him out. He's ambitious. He's taking risks and giving Bernard a chance. Kovalev hammering Bernard Hopkins from pillar to post. Kovalev won every round on every scorecard and took two belts away from Hopkins. To see more of Sergei Crusher Kovalev, tune in to HBO Boxing.